Hi, this is Rich Little. I'm sure you'll enjoy using the outgoing messages on this tape as much as I enjoyed doing them for you. These voices have been specially prepared to get you more messages on your answering machine. And now, here's how to use them to best advantage. At, at first, using a standard cassette player, I'd listen to the voices and choose one. Now, three seconds before each voice, there is a cueing chime. Now, this chime indicates that you have three seconds before the outgoing message starts. Then, in a quiet place, record the celebrity impression from the cassette player speaker into the answering machine's microphone. Uh, you can personalize your outgoing announcements in several ways, either by inserting your voice before or after the celebrity impression. Uh, this way, people will know that they have reached you and not a wrong number. Now, for best results, you should experiment with the distance between the cassette player's speaker and the answering machine's microphone. A distance of three to four inches between the speaker and the microphone with a medium volume setting is recommended. My Radio Shack outgoing messages will work with all types of answering machines, single cassette, micro cassette, or loop. Remember, your Radio Shack store offers a complete line of accessories for your telephone and your answering machine, including various lengths of endless loops and incoming message cassettes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Rich Little's Radio Shack outgoing messages. Hey, listen, I don't know what I can tell you. There's nobody here right now, you know? But if you turkeys want to leave your name and your number, I mean, all I can do is pass it on to them, you know what I mean? Of course, if you don't want to, it's, it's no big deal. Just, just don't ever call here again. Hello. Isn't it true that you made this phone call to talk to the people who live here? Isn't it true, and I put it to you at this very moment, you're considering hanging up? Well, if I were you, I'd leave a message, because if you don't, you'll get 20 years in the electric chair, and then we'll hang you. You people are something, you know that? You phone when there's no one here, and when they are here, you don't phone. So leave a message, you understand me? A message. If they get back to you, great. If they don't, who cares? You are nothing, do you hear me? Nothing, 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 nothing. <laughs> I got this answering machine because I've been talking on the phone so long, the receiver has worn a hole in my chin. I'd appreciate it if you would leave your name and your number and I'll get back to you. However, if you don't elect to do that, I'll just simply come over to your house and rip out your phone. There's no one available. So leave a message, a message in a machine that is so complicated, it goes far beyond man's imagination into an area that probes the inner depths of one's own soul. What the hell am I talking about? Leave a message. Hi there, fun seekers. There's no one home at the moment. But they've been saying that about me for years. <laughs> At the sound of the tone, leave a message. But watch out. Last clown who did that got caught in the machine and, and beeped himself to death. Ah, all over the yard. Ah, it was horrible. Ah. Speaking of phones. 
This reporter here at the financial request of our mutual perspicacious friend, who it would be remiss of me not to point out, has gone to considerable expense to fly me here to record this call. The dearth of frugality is astonishing. Respond at the beat. Phone calls. I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. That's why this machine has become my extension. To think it does all that, and may I say, not in a shy way. And so I get your call and do it my way. Marvelous, absolutely marvelous. Beat me, baby. Did you ever notice when you phone people these days a dumb machine answers? Usually with a silly impression of somebody we don't even know. Like me. And what's wrong with just letting it ring? And why do they have that annoying beep? What's wrong with a bell or a whistle? Did you ever notice they give you 20 seconds to answer? Why not 60 minutes? Hi, everybody. This is Rich Little. All of me are taking this call. She makes a fortune doing my voice, and I don't get a penny. I, I don't even think he sounds like me. Now, wait a minute. All the voices in the world aren't worth a hill of beans unless somebody leaves a message at the beep. Gee, I couldn't have said that better myself. You picked a bad time to call. We're breaking out of this dump, see? So leave your name and the number of the prisoner you're calling, and who's ever left will get back to you. Here they come, Jocko. Hand me that grapefruit.